Hello friends, today I will discuss about different parts of 11 kb switch gear and what are the function of the different parts. So here the front side view of the 11 kb switch gear has been shown. So here two push button is there, one is red push button, one is green push button. So red push button is given for push to trip. So by pressing this push button, we can manually trip the circuit breaker. And green push button is given for manually closing of the circuit breaker. By pressing this green push button, we can manually close the circuit breaker. Here, display is given for indication of the circuit breaker status, whether it is on or off. Here, one display is given for status of the spring charge, whether it is discharge or charge. If, if the spring is charged, there will be display charge. If the spring is discharged, the display shows discharge. Here on handle is given for manual charging of the spring. By gripping this handle and moving towards upside and downside for 5 to 7 times the spring can be manually charged. Here on counter is given for showing the display of the number of operation of the circuit breaker. Here one knob is there and by mounting on lever with this knob and moving this lever clockwise direction, the switch gear can be racked in or put into service. Again, by moving the lever anti-clockwise direction, the switch gear can be racked out or also can be put into test position. So, this is the inside view of the switch gear of 11 kb. So, here, here it is the closing coil of the circuit breaker. And here it is the tripping coil of the circuit breaker. And this is the spring. Okay. And this is the auxiliary switch of the circuit breaker. Here the all the auxiliary contact that is NO and NC contact are fixed. So by pressing this green push button, the breaker will be manually closed. And by pressing this red push button, the breaker can be manually tripped. These are the indication that is on indication and off indication of the circuit breaker and the spring charge and spring discharge indication. Okay. And this is the counter for CB operation. So if a closing pulse is given, this closing coil is energized and it will uh, push force to the upper plate and by means of spring mechanism, the circuit breaker will be closed. Again, this is the trick coil. If trip pulse is get the trip coil uh, push the upper plate to make the circuit breaker off by spring mechanism. So this is the inside view of the 11 kb switch gear. So this is the back view of the 11 kb switch gear. Here the interrupter, this is the interrupter for three phases. This is for red, this is for yellow and this is for blue phase. So, in this interrupter, the fixed and moving contact will be separated. So, vacuum is the media in which the circuit breaker on and off take place. So, in this vacuum media, the arc quenching mechanism is done or phenomena is happen. And this, these are the upper teeth. From this upper teeth, the main bus or bus is connected. And these are the lower teeth through which the feeder or the transformer cable is taken. So this is the backside view of the 11 kb switch gear. So here the nameplate details of the circuit breaker is mentioned here. So first the type of the circuit breaker is mentioned that is PSI-1. Then the specification as per which the circuit breaker is designed. It is designed as per specification IEC 62271-100. Then the serial number of the vacuum circuit breaker is mentioned and the mass of the circuit breaker is mentioned. So mass is 120 kg. Then the rated voltage is mentioned. For 11 kV, the rated voltage is 12 kV. And the rated current, that is the maximum current, it can uh, handle there is a continuously uh, it is 1250 1, ampere so during closing of the circuit breaker continuously it can uh, handle the 
this amount of current that is 1250 ampere then the frequency frequency at which the circuit breaker can operate that is 50 hertz then the short circuit breaking capacity is mentioned it is uh, as 25 kilo ampere for 3 second okay then the insulation level of the circuit breaker is mentioned here insulation level the first voltage mentioned as the rated voltage which is 12 kV then second voltage is mentioned as the power frequency withstand voltage for one minute so power frequency withstand voltage for one minute is 28 kV RMS then the lightning impulse voltage is mentioned so lightning impulse withstand voltage is 75 kV peak this is the peak value of the lightning impulse voltage and then, then the closing the closing coil which is designed as 30 volt auxiliary supply this is a 30 volt dc closing coil then the opening or tripping coil the auxiliary voltage is 30 volt dc then the motor voltage motor voltage is designed as 220 volt ac so operating mechanism is of uh, motor operated and operating sequence this is the auto reclose duty cycle of the circuit breaker so what is the o o stands for open then co stand for close open and co stand for close open so what does it mean the auto reclose mean if the fault is occurred then the circuit breaker will be tripped and it will wait for 300 millisecond so that after 300 millisecond the circuit breaker will be ready to for next close open cycle so assume that the fault persists so relay will sense this fault and send a trip signal uh, or reclose signal to the circuit breaker the circuit breaker will be closed as the fault is persist then relay will again send a trip signal the close open operation will be there so again after the close open operation then the circuit breaker wait for three minutes so that after three minutes the circuit breaker will ready for next close open operation so multi sort auto reclose is given then uh, after three minutes the circuit breaker will be closed if the fault again persist then the circuit breaker will be open and it will remain open until and unless it will manually closed then the ur of manufacture is mentioned it is mentioned as 2015 here then po number date is mentioned this is all about the nameplate details of the circuit 